Apple have outed iOS 6 that includes a whopping 200 new features. But are these all totally brand new innovations, or has Google already got something similar? Once again, we enter into one of the fiercest battles on the planet, it's Apple versus Android. First up is the release date. We've been able to enjoy the sweet treats of ice cream sandwich in the UK since November 2011 on the Samsung Galaxy Nexus, but iOS 6 isn't available till autumn 2012. Apple have ditched Google Maps in favour of its own new homegrown Maps app. Just like Google's service on Android, you'll get turn-by-turn -turn navigation powered by TomTom, and you'll be able to zoom in to see buildings up close. Apple Maps will have what they're calling Flyover, which works just like Google Street View. One thing Apple Maps lacks currently is public transport information for journeys, though. iOS 6 updates Siri, making her more intelligent, including more information about sports and movies. Android's best voice offering is Samsung's S Voice, and just like Siri, it can launch apps, both native and third party, schedule events, and get you weather info. One difference is that S Voice doesn't appear to have the same sense of humor Siri is blessed with, and S Voice is currently exclusive to the S3. Apple has introduced bookmark and tab syncing across devices when using the Safari app. You can already do this on Androids, but it has to be through the Chrome app. Passbook is something Android doesn't have a direct alternative to. Handsets like the Samsung Galaxy Nexus and S3 support NFC for use with Google Wallet in contactless payment, but there's no single app that offers all the same functionality as Passbook. Anything you'd like to see in iOS 6? Let us know in the comments.